Get into the out there and celebrate some of the American treasures that oh, we have. There's so many parks to choose so from many. here. It's hard to decide where to go. So here to help us out, Jim and Will Pattis uh, from More Than Just Parks. Hey, guys. Great to see you again, especially with such, such short notice. Uh, Jim, let's start with you. If you want to see a lot of wildlife, Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota certainly is a place to go here. What, what, what can you see or what can you anticipate seeing wildlife-wise in that park? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Theodore Roosevelt, obviously named after the famous conservationist president, um, who spent you know some of the formative years of his life there. Um, you can see obviously our national mammal, the iconic uh, prairie uh, you know bison out there, mm -hmm. all over the park. Um, they also have a number of pronghorn antelope, which, by the way is the fastest land animal in North America, um, and it's the second fastest animal in the world. So you get to see those guys running out there, and it's absolutely incredible. It's a really overlooked national park that's, frankly, we found to be teeming with wildlife. Yeah, that's always mm. cool. Will, staying in the Dakotas, can you tell us about Badlands and what is the big draw for visitors there from around the world, by the way? Yeah, Badlands is one of our favorite places to go to. Um, it is in South Dakota, just north, just south of North Dakota there. And it's also next to another national park, Wind Cave. Um, in Badlands, you can see a lot of the same wildlife that you can find in uh, North Dakota's Theodore Roosevelt National Park, but it's more of a, a wide open landscapes, a little less vegetation, and the dirt mounds, the colors that you see in there are just unbelievable. All right, so, uh, Jim, how did you get the indoor duty and Will's outside? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yep. This morning. It's a little colder here it's in Maine, by the way. Oh, it's only this morning, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, it got Maine, by the way. Maine's just teeming with beautiful areas. What's, so, so for our viewers at home saying, you know what, i got to get out there. I want to go visit a national park. What's the best way, uh, um, Will, uh, Jim, actually, let's go back to Jim with this one, to plan for that? Yeah, well, you know, our national parks right now are seeing more visitation than ever, frankly. So you really do want to plan in advance. Um, some of the parks are actually taking reservations um, to be able to get in. So historically, that hasn't been the case. So you'll definitely want to plan in advance. Think about when you want to go. Um, campsites as well. You'll want to get those well in advance, yeah. um, as well as any lodging or things like that. Well, let's talk more about Wind Cave. You kind of mentioned it. I've never heard of Wind Cave um, in South Dakota. What, what, is, what is Wind Cave? What's special about it? Yeah, Wind Cave is an unbelievable destination. Jim and I visited actually for, we actually got to go into the caves for the first time this past year. Later um, on in, I think about May, we'll be releasing a film on it. You can see it on our website, morethanjustparks.com. But the cave is, they, it could be the longest cave in the world that's not fully mapped. Um, the Park Service does an incredible wow. job, yeah, of allowing tours so that there, I think there's three main tours there. Some of them are just about 20 minutes long and others are about an hour and a half. How long um, is and, this cave? I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head here. I should have done my homework on that one, but it is, it is miles and miles. Right now, I think it's the third longest um, mapped cave, but it could be much, much longer. Sheesh. You know, I would wait till it's summertime, too. Yeah, because it's nice and cool When you're ever in a cave in the summer, so cool. it's, it's so cool inside. All right, yeah. uh, Jim, back to you since you are in Maine. Let's talk about Acadia. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts. We got like 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love Acadia. I'm actually going there this weekend. Um, right now is a fantastic time to visit Acadia because things have thawed out here in Maine, and but we're before the tourist season when the park sees a lot more crowds. So right now, ah. get to go up there, see that quiet coastline. It's beautiful. Dress warm, though. Jim and Will, thank you for joining us this morning.